I'm here today with Associate Minister Pippa Goldring from Holy Trinity Church, Heath Town. Um, she's due to retire at the end of January, so I'm just catching up with her as she was our wonderful Place of Welcome host here at the church. Um, I wanted to ask her a few questions about her time as Place of Welcome host. So Pippa, can you remember how long you've hosted a Place of Welcome? Well, it's probably about five years. It's gone very quickly. Um, but uh, yeah, probably about 2016. And can you remember why you joined Places Welcome Network? Before that, we had what we called Open Church right here in, in the church building. And every Saturday we would open. But we needed something a bit broader. And when we heard of Place of Welcome and the way it was an umbrella organisation, it would help us with publicity. It helped us to focus on what we were doing. And it just seemed a very good idea to link in with the wider um, set up. So you host your places of welcome on a Saturday morning. How does that work for you? It works really well. Many people seem to be free on Saturdays. Often it's a, it's a day when, when people don't have anything to do, surprisingly, particularly people on their own. It also means that families can come along. Uh, children might otherwise be at school during the week and people who would otherwise be at work. So we find it, it, it attracts a lot of people on a Saturday, so it works well. And have you got any best bits of place of welcome, things that you've really particularly enjoyed and remember? Uh, it's always hard to say because it's all so good. And for me, it's the gathering of the community, being a place where anyone can feel welcome, anyone can come in and will always know that it's happening on a Saturday morning, never shut except Christmas Day. And it's, it's people meeting one another, people getting to know uh, new people, or just having a place, not only for a, a cup of tea and a, a slice of toast, but, but somewhere where they could sit quietly if they wish. There's always a bit of music in the background. Somewhere where they can just be. And so I, it's hard to say any one thing because the whole thing for me is just so important and just such a joy. So moving forward, your place of welcome is now going to be handed over into the capable hands of Reverend Kate Tingle and Sue and Maria. And what advice would you give them in continuing to host places of welcome in the future? Especially given the times we've been through recently where communities have been quite shut down and separate. What would you like to say to them moving forward? I think first of all, to remember how, just how important it is. How important it is to have somewhere for people who might otherwise be isolated, where do people go on a Saturday morning when they want to meet someone? Where do they go? In this area particularly, there aren't any community places or not many. It's really important. So keep that in mind. Keep in mind the fact that we need to encourage one another. We have a wonderful team of hosts, over 20. Let's encourage one another and value each other and everyone coming in, as I know we do. And keep a smile on your face. Lovely, thank you so much, Pippa, for all that you've brought to Place of Welcome. We really do appreciate you and wish you all the best in your retirement. Thank you, Carrie. It's been thank a joy. You.